All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell um, Inspiron 24 uh, 5420 all in one. All right, so to open this thing up, you actually want to pop this bottom cover off. Um, if you can, get a thin little pry tool here. You can use a plastic one. I use this because it works a lot better. It's stronger. And I think we start from the middle. That's where I was kind of like trying to pry. Let's see, actually, I was able to get it up pretty easily before so let's see there you go all right so we kind of start somewhat off to the off from the center and then once you kind of get that going it's a lot easier but it's easier to work on it with this facing away from you but the camera's in my way so normally I would go here and then I would kind of pop this up you can see we can kind of get this popped up a little and then once you get that, you just work your way around. If you can, you can kind of get in there and grab it. But uh, let's see. It's being a little difficult this time. Let's try prying closer to the little foot. And there we go. It's popping up a little. Okay. And what about over to this side all the way? Okay, so there we go. Now we got that. You can see the side is popping up. Let me move this a little over so you can kind of get a better view. All right, so now you get under there and you just pull up, okay? All right, the main thing is getting it started. Once you do that, you can kind of pull, wiggle. I like to kind of bend the cover in towards the center so that way it's kind of like pulling the clips in like this. You can try and do one side first. It makes it a little bit easier. So just pull up and there we go pops out just like that nice and easy the only thing is initially getting it started okay so here you can now see inside okay we're gonna go ahead and get I believe we're gonna use a ph2 or if you have a js2 we'll use that let's go ahead and flip this over and take a look inside all right so we got this let me lower this down a little bit and maybe zoom in. I believe this is, can we just pull this off? Uh, let's see. They have little pictures here to try and show you. So it looks like there's four screws holding this down. Um, we're very likely going to have to remove um, the plastic bottom cover here first. So let's go ahead and remove these screws here. So we got one here. Okay, another one here, two. Okay, got a third one over here. Let's see if we can pop this off. Um, I was pulling up the clips from the bottom here before and it was kind of popping up, but because this these screws were holding it, it didn't come out all the way. So four, let me actually move these screws further away. I don't want to accidentally put the screen on top of it. Four and I think one more here, five. Okay, so now that we got all those screws, let's see if we can pop this piece off. You can see we can kind of lift this up Okay, and you can see now this is popping out. You gotta kind of wiggle it a little bit, and there we go. Sorry, I know it's kind of like zoomed in a little bit too much, but there we go, we got that, and then we can kind of wing this around. You might have to, oops, sorry. You might have to pull these legs up, and then you can see we can kind of get this out. This is kind of trapped here, but there we go. There's the bottom plastic piece here, and now you have access to this whole piece. All right, so there's a hard drive in here, two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can upgrade this to a two and a half inch SATA SSD. Just remove that one screw here. All right, and then it looks like we should be able to pull this, or is it held in? Oh yeah, then we can slide this out. And there you go, two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can upgrade it to a two and a half inch SATA SSD. Four screws holding it to this bracket. Get the new SSD, plop it in there, and yeah. All right, anyways, we're gonna just put this back in because I don't oops, need that out. It has this little, this railing system that locks into here. So it makes sure that you push it in straight. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get this screw back in. And I'm just gonna do a quick look at the inside. Not really gonna be taking everything apart. So keep that in mind. This isn't a complete disassembly. It's just like if you wanna upgrade or anything. Okay, so here you can see there's two screws down here. Okay, so we're gonna remove those. And I think those are part of the screws that it's showing there. So let's go ahead and remove those two. I know, sorry, my hand's getting in the way, but uh, all right. So we got those two screws out, and then there's one. Where's the second one up here? I see one. Oh, okay. Then there's one up here, and then there's one over in that corner. So let's go ahead and remove those two screws. Oreo, calm down. All right, we'll get this screw. 
Okay, and now that we got those four screws out, let's go ahead and pop this up. So you just grab under anywhere, I believe, and then you can hopefully just pull this up. Are there hidden screws anywhere else? Okay, I'm just grabbing this and I'm kind of wiggling this to pull it. Um, it does seem to be holding itself down somehow, so be careful lifting this up. You don't want to get anything caught and then destroy anything. So we're just carefully trying to pull this whole cover up. And usually you want to go straight up, so I'm pushing with my thumb here as I pull. Usually I would use two hands to pull it straight up, and there we go. It's caught because these little things hold on to the little connectors there. All right, so inside you can see there's a BIOS, CMOS, RTC, real-time clock battery, whatever you want to call it, um, CR2032. Um, to remove this battery, you push on this tab, it will pop up, and then you can pop it out. Um, you can also, I like to use a magnet to grab it and pull it out. There's all these little connectors here, which I'm not going to mess around with. Um, I believe this whole thing is just the camera setup. You can see how it moves here with this cable. I feel like over time that cable is going to get damaged, actually. That's... I don't know, that's kind of scary how it bends right there. They should have removed this metal piece. Okay, um, it looks like there's a tiny, seriously, tiny M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here, uh, Western Digital. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think you can remove this metal piece here and transfer it over here to use a longer full-sized uh, one. Let's see if I can take that out. We're going to have to switch over to a JS1 screwdriver. Sorry for the shakiness. I feel using the tripod in this situation is kind of annoying Have to keep having to keep adjusting it, so I'm just using my hand. Okay, so we're going to remove that screw. Then the SSD, you can pop it up slightly. It has a thermal pad underneath. Then we're going to go ahead and pull that. You might have to wiggle it a little, but there we go. All right, and yes, you can transfer this over and use a full-sized uh, PCIe NVMe SSD. All right, so we'll switch back over to the J2 or PH2 and we'll basically unscrew this little piece and you should be able to move that over to here. Okay, this is just a test. I'm not actually upgrading their computer, um, but as you can see, it screws in right there and then you can use a full-sized one. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and put this back. Okay. back in good we'll get the SSD back in again it goes in at an angle I like to kind of pinch both together and then we're gonna get that back down okay and yeah again this isn't a complete disassembly reassembly video I'm just taking out the upgradable components so that people can see all right, if they need to upgrade their device I would highly recommend upgrading the PCIe NVMe SSD and not even using the this drive. You can use this one for storage, but I would still recommend upgrading that to an SSD. Um, but yeah, this one has what, like 256 gigs probably? Yeah, 256 gigs in the top corner up there where my shadow is pointing. <laughs> Anyways, you can see how this leg would come off and how this leg would come off. I believe these are the two speakers. You got the wireless card here. It is removable. The antennas do come out. You pull up from the tail, but it does have this plastic on top, so you do have to undo the screw to pull that sleeve off. All right, you got this other connector. Um, I'm not really going to go over everything, but I'll kind of let you see somewhat more close up. This says LVDS, so this is likely for the screen. This one says Type-C. I don't know if that's for USB-C ports. Um, then you got this for the touch. You got whatever's over here webcam in the middle one so this one's for the webcam and then this one uh what does that say webcam and this one just says back backlight okay so maybe this is for the backlight um then of course you got a fan here fan connector there um the ram comes out like every other you just pull the tabs to the side it pops up and then you pull it out just like the ssd but this is a pc4 3200 aa 8 gig stick. You can put any PC4 3200 AA stick of RAM. So if you want, you can probably put two 16 gig sticks and have 32 gigs instead of 16. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Not really much else in here for me to go over. They do have another little connector down there. Again, I'm not going to be pulling stuff out. Um, these are very common connectors with a little flip latch over. You pull that out. This one has this kind of flip latch and then you can pull that out. 
All right, um, and then these kind of connectors you kind of have to grab and wiggle. Um, usually what I do is I just push the connector like side to side or jiggle it side to side and it will kind of rock it out like that. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing back together. You wanna be careful here dropping this down. All right, so just line everything up and then push that back in. You can see these little things kind of just surround the connectors again. And then we just gotta get all these screws back in. So I think we're done with the JAS-1. Switching back to the PH-2, we're gonna get every single screw back in. And that should be pretty much it. I might have to, let me actually put this back on the tripod now so you have a more steady view. Um, and then also we can get a thumbnail of the inside here. So let me move the tripod out of the way and we'll get kind of a thumbnail of the inside. All right, let's get this tripod back set up. Okay. Get this guy over here. All right. So we got this screw down here. Okay. Now since it's on the tripod and I already showed where everything was, I'm not going to be zooming in all over the place. I just want to give you like a full view of what's going on. Okay, get that screw in. And the lighting for this is really bad, I know, but... Hopefully with the close-ups, you got everything you needed. All right, I believe this lap, or this all-in-one is actually very, very new. Um, so I don't think anyone else will have a video taking this thing apart. But anyways, we're gonna get this back in. So you have to slide this under the feet, make sure the feet are lifted all the way up, and then you kind of swing it into place. This one's kind of a little tricky, but there you go. You gotta just angle it right. And then push the clips down here back into place. Okay, make sure to click that all back in first. There we go. Now we got all that clicked in. We can go ahead and get all the screws back in. And then we just got to pop the back uh, cover back on. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or impair their uh, devices as well. All right, and if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't, um, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the YouTube algorithm likes to see. Other than that, we're just gonna get all these screws and everything back in and we should be good to go. All right, get all of that. And now we have this back cover and the back cover, I don't know if there's any specific way to get this back on, but because we popped this side out first, um, most likely we got to push the top in first. So push the top and the sides down, and then work your way down to the bottom and push that all in. I'm pushing with my palm to get it to go back in, all right? And then just make sure all the clips and everything look flush. Everything looks good, and that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped. Hopefully you can upgrade your computer. And I'll see you all in the next one, all right? See ya. Bye.